So like I said, you want to go all the way around each one of those studs and put a bead of glue. Get ready for that sheet of glue on to go on there. This glue you'll be using or something similar to it. You don't have to use the 8X. I actually picked up some 3X or something. As long as it's waterproof, polyurethane. That's all you got to worry about. Back in a sec. All right, now after that, put on our sheet of glue on. So you're going to have half inch plywood ripped two by fours on their side. You have inch and three quarter, inch and a half, inch three quarter, whatever it is. Then you're gonna have the luon. Now notice the luon's hanging over a little bit on this. This is actually gonna be the bottom side of the trailer. And once we, since we have all this screwed together, we're gonna let this, all the glue set, and then we're gonna cover it again with that uh, roofing tar. But we'll cut this lip off, we'll just take a jigsaw, or a sawzall, or a saw, and run all the way down the end here, and uh, rip that overhang off. And that'll be good. Uh, we'll be back here and I'll show you how to coat the bottom side. Like I say, like, wait four to six hours for that to dry before you put on the next coating of roofing tar. Alright, first thing you want to do is go around and kind of seal all the middle once everything dries. That way all you have to do is go around and do the edge all at once. When you're doing the edge, you want to make sure that you don't want to get the tar all the way down on the bottom side you're going to have to run a bead of sealant or glue just like we did on the rest of the stuff here on this side so you just want to get down as far as you can and try to get that seam sealed up with tar all the way as, po as much as possible that way it's water good and waterproof now there's glue inside there so it's not too off critical but you do want to make sure you get a good coating and then coat all the edge cut the whole bottom side of the lure on side not the half inch plywood side the lou on side and that's it for this step make sure you fill all the holes see where the screws down in there make sure you fill all those up real good and another thing too when you're screwing down all on the edges you want to put quite a few screws make sure you pull that thing down every six inches or so you want to put a screw all the way down through there make sure it pulls down good and tight 